We begin, though, with a former elementary school principal who's behind bars tonight. He's accused of sexually assaulting a young student. Investigators fear there could be more victims. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute is in Upper Darby tonight with the latest on what she's learned about the investigation. Jasmine, good evening. Good evening, Yuki. Officials say the initial allegations were made years ago, but it wasn't until this week they were given new information that gave them the tools to make an arrest. We have no tolerance for people who prey on our children. Uh, we will hunt you down and we will bring you to justice. Those threats brought to fruition Friday as officers escorted 43 year old Jonathan Wisniewski to a correctional facility in Delaware County. We're shocked, we're outraged, we're frustrated, we're angry. We share that with everybody else. Authorities arrested and charged the former principal with eight charges, ranging from sexual contact with a student to indecent assault and endangering the welfare of a child. He had not been a principal for a long period of time. Uh, it was in the beginning of his career. At a news conference at Upper Darby Police Headquarters, officials said Wisniewski was a principal at Primos Elementary School over three years ago when these offenses allegedly took place. He currently works for Devereaux Cares Day School in Dowlingtown as its education director. It's a privilege and an honor to work with children, um, and we take that very seriously, and that's why this is such a heartbreaking uh, press conference for me. According to a criminal complaint obtained by Eyewitness News, the victim was as young as 10 years old when she says she was inappropriately touched by Wisniewski. It also says the suspect reportedly watched as juveniles played an inappropriate game in his office, among other claims. We had to arrest this individual to get him off the street and away from children. Um, but there may be more people coming forward. The suspect's current employer says he has been placed on administrative leave and has no access to students. Again, officials believe there could be more young victims out there. They're asking anyone with information to contact them. We're live in Delaware County. Jasmine Payute, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jasmine, thank you for that.